Now, more than a thousand of the many Ghanaians stranded abroad as a result of the closure of the country's borders should be home before the end of this month. Foreign Affairs Minister Shelley Ayoko Butri has told Parliament that evacuation has already started with seven Ghanaians arriving from Nigeria Thursday. She says apart from the over a thousand expected from the U.S. and U.K., by before the end of June, another 675 is expected from China and 500 from the UAE and Abu Dhabi. Mr. Speaker, government took the decision to begin the process of evacuating our compatriots home following the alert from the World Health Organization that COVID-19 is most likely to remain a global public health issue until a vaccine is developed. The decision was also informed by the data gathered by our diplomatic missions abroad on the categories of Ghanaians who were stranded. For several weeks, the foreign ministry and its missions abroad together with key ministries, departments and agencies such as the Interior, National Security and Aviation Ministries and the Ghana Immigration Service have been working closely to bring home stranded Ghanaians in several countries. I wish to also report that negotiations are currently underway between our Beijing mission and Ethiopian Airlines for the evacuation of some 675 stranded Ghanaians in China. Similarly, our mission in Abu Dhabi and consulate in Dubai have initiated discussions with the UAE authorities for the evacuation of over 500 of our nationals who are stranded in that country. The Foreign Ministry is also in discussion with the Scholarship Secretariat and the National COVID-19 Task Force to finalize arrangements to evacuate 141 Ghanaian students who completed their language proficiency courses in Benin last month using STC buses. Now arrangements are in place to evacuate them on the 13th of June.